just that. It's unlike it. I'm expecting something. The structure, this material, and so on, and maybe you know, you know, whatever it is, something li like it, not unlike. But it needs to be again, not the same. I didn't ask you to bring exactly the same, which will be an imitation, a copy, a replica. I said something like it. So I should be able to distinguish between this and the other one. Yeah. Yeah. But it's not going to be something unlike it. So all the attempts in the internet that you can find, I mean, this I'm giving you already, you will see they're unlike the Quran because they have not understood the message of the Quran. So there are books written and there's um, books now translated in English as well about this miraculous linguistic nature of the Quran. Of course, if you go and deep, you know, if, if you wish I can give you the names, um, by Dr. Bassam Sayah is the one who's produced this objective work, translated in English, available. Um, I can't remember the exact English title, but I know the Arabic title uh, of it. But I mean, later on, I can find it for you. So coming back now, when you had issues with religion and accepting and following a way of life, your issue wasn't with God's divinely ordained way of life. It was with what you see in practice. Yep, I have the same issue with you. I have the same problem with them. So when I see injustice, in fact, this is Muslim teaching. In fact, the, the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu he said, our Prophet, when you see a munkar, an evil, try to stop with force by your own hand. If you are not able to do so, then try to speak against it with your tongue. Stop it with your tongue. If you're not able to do so, then have in your heart that this is wrong. And that is the weakest of faith. So yes, Islam is a religion of justice. So it doesn't matter if someone is being oppressed over there and she is not wearing the, the burqa or the jilbab and so on, and she's a woman, that shouldn't stop a Muslim from stopping this injustice taking place. Say, oh, she's white, she's not Asian, or she's not Muslim. No. Islam doesn't differentiate justice in this kind. In fact, in the Quran, Allah says, when you judge between people, do so with justice, bil adl, with justice. And when you stand to testify and witness, be a firm, just, truthful witness. Even if it goes against you, yourself, your kith and kin, your family. Yeah. That is the Islamic message. So, Mary, I don't think you have any issues with Islamic teaching. No, I have a issue with people you have an issue with people yes. like we have an issue with people so what we are trying to do in fact you will make a better muslim for sure because you will not stop from rectifying and amending and purifying the society from this because you would say okay, this is something wrong i'm sure you're doing that now already now i'm sure you're standing against this oppression i'm sure you're speaking against it okay so what islam does you know it puts us into a framework in which we don't just we are not left with our own devices on feeling what it is through our gut feelings only. We become certain yeah. of our Creator and the message that He sends. And by being certain, then our life becomes meaningful, that our purpose becomes meaningful, and what we do, we find tranquility in our hearts. Because you may be sometimes thinking, you know, I, I don't know, because you, you, everyone's different. Yeah. But the moment that you know for certain that what you know and what you're doing or want to do, it's certain and it's the right thing. No one is going to take that peace and tranquility from your heart. And Islam provides that peace and tranquility because once you are a Muslim. But I already have peace and tranquility in my heart. I think as long as What's going to happen when you die? I'll find out when I'm dead. You're going to find out when you're dead. Are you certain that you're going to be in a good place? No. Then how can you have peace and tranquility? What is the greatest not? But what is the greatest? Success. Success in this life or success in your heart for now, yeah, not for sure. the future. Good. I want to ask you this very important question. What is success? Success in this life or success in the real life which is hereafter forever and forever? This life is momentary. 100, 120 years? No one lives more than 130 years anymore. Compared to eternal life, either in a place of bliss, tranquility, joy, happiness, contentment, or a place of suffering, pain. Where is the success? Success is to be successful in that place, yeah, to I be safe from the punishment. Religion, as long as you're being a good person and doing good and treating people with love, if there is a God and if there is an eternal life after, you will go there. Regardless but what if 
the going there is conditional in certain things that you I need to. I don't agree with conditional. Hmm? I don't agree with that bit. So I you do agree see, that if there is a God who has created us to be kind, to be just, to be caring, hmm. and that is enough for God. Okay, who are you being kind for? What is your intention behind for all this? For the good of everyone. For the, okay. Are you being thankful and grateful to the one who created you? I don't think we was created to be thankful. Okay. I don't do good to get thanks, and I don't agree that God yes. does good to so, get thanks. So, so, he gave do you believe? Life. Do you believe you are created? Maybe, maybe I don't know. And until I'm dead, I don't know. Right, but it was too late to find out then. I don't think it is. So I when we die, certainly we find out. But when we find out, and we found out that actually we fail to fulfill our purpose in life just like imagine but you I go to an exam the purpose of life is to be a good person what if i say the purpose in life is to just have cigarettes so that's your opinion right so how are we going to be certain what indeed is the real purpose of life if that is subjective i don't have an answer for that <laughs> yeah so what we say is to be certain objectively is where the revelation, the guidance comes from our Creator who tells us with proof and evidence that indeed He exists, indeed He's the one who created us and indeed He's the one who's causing us to die and indeed He's the one who will resurrect us again to judge us for our belief and our actions, just in our actions. Because some people, as you see, are misusing that freedom that God has given us in the matter of choice. So He will make them accountable and he will demonstrate justice. Yeah. yeah. So that is why we're saying, you know, the, the difference between your current position and if we were a Muslim is that that certainty and tranquility, there's now degrees of it, as you realize. Yeah. Once you know for sure, you know, the level of contentment will be even more. Just like the degree of certainty of knowledge. There is several degrees. Hearing about something, seeing with your own eyes, or actually understanding the whole reality of it from yeah. perspective. There's different, different levels. Okay, in Islam there's something called, you know, Ainul Yaqeen and Haqqul Yaqeen. Yeah, there's a different reality. So when you are going to be certain, that's where your heart will be totally at ease and tranquil. You have peace now? Yeah, yeah. I am not saying... Sure. I am not saying that you don't have peace in your heart. I'm not saying that, I'm saying... For me, that's the most important thing. Yes, but what I'm saying is to be totally resonating with the ultimate peace that God wants us to be in and hereafter. And you can be resonating that by knowing certainly what that is. And this is what we are I'll inviting never, to. I'll never deny what you're saying because yeah. you might be right. I might be right, someone else might be right. Yeah, so we're saying to be know. sure about who is right and who is wrong is to scrutinize and verify it once we scrutinize and verify it then i have no reason to say now i don't know yet now i am a little bit skeptic because our skepticism like your skepticism will disappear with this knowledge well, I, hope you're right. I hope i read it and i hope that you are right i really do yeah because i'm already fulfilled and happy and at peace with who i am now but if that helps me to mm. find reason for it yeah Perfect. Do you know what a Prophet Muhammad said? He said he has been raised to perfect the nobility of character. Your character may be a noble already, but he's come with the responsibility, the duty to ennoble you even further, spiritually uplift you to the most upright being. That is why the concept that you've often heard misunderstood in the media called jihad actually is a struggle. Jihad means to struggle, to strive, to make you better. And of course, struggle, there's a physical struggle, there's a physical struggle and so on. Physical struggle to you know, stop people taking over your land, your property, to killing you, to annihilate you from existence and so on. And there's a spiritual struggle to constantly strive to make yourself better. So you may have occasionally lied once or twice and now you're striving to say, no, I'm not going to lie ever again. The difference between that is paramount. When you realize that you don't lie at all, you will see how spiritually uplifted yourself made yourself the prophet muhammad came not only to teach people nobility he actually came to uplift them ennoble them and to perfect beautiful. perfect the nobility that. of character i hope that what you're saying is correct i really really do yeah so please read the biography of the prophet and i will come back when i sure. read the quran 
fascinating just listening to you, to be honest. It's a pleasure speaking to you. It's so nice may may open our hearts to the true guidance. Yeah. But I think even without that, we can all love and accept each other. Of course, of course, of course. Islam says, for example, to people who do not accept Islam, still you have to maintain, you know, between ourselves this level of tolerance. Yeah. Rather than simply saying, you know what, because you, don't, you disagree, I'm going to put you behind bars and that's it, you live a life of misery and all. No, no. We can live with these differences, but, but the fact that, okay, you know... And that's all I ever want for the world. It's <laughs> yeah. for us to all live together. Yeah, yeah. So when Islam, for example, says you know, Islam is implemented on this earth through its rules and regulation, it ensures that justice is done so that no one is um, has done unjust to them so everyone sees the justice and this is why in earlier time when Islam was implemented people came into Islam because they saw the justice you know the expansionist policy of every religion or every empire um, Islam needs to expand right because it wants to show the message to the people when it was expanding through military force not Islam as a religion but Islam as a state Islam as a geographical location that people can then see Islam as Muslim armies conquered another land, opened up another land. Do you know what the people of that land did? They joined the army to go further because they saw the truth. Because if the conquering army leaves, what happens in society, in history is, they say, ah, oh, now we've relieved these people, the invaders that came, now they left us to us. But that wasn't with Islam. The same people joined them willingly because they saw the truth. So let's leave it there. Yeah. Do you have any copies of the Quran at all? Uh, no, we've yeah, got one. So yeah? I'm going to read it. Please do. And ask lots of questions. Yeah. I will be very happy to come back sure. once I finish reading it. Please and do. And I'm sure I'll have some questions. Of course, of course. Okay. Pleasure speaking to you, Mary. You take care. You. Have a lovely day. You too. Bye bye. <laughs>